uh, now let's uh, investigate a little bit more on the Windows privileges. Right, so um, first let's take a look at the local users and groups in this machine. So let's fire up PowerShell and uh, run this command LUSR MGR. Right, so um, this is the interface. Uh, local users, we have uh, uh, let's see, user, right, which is a local user. We have a test user which we have created, right, and um, the user again uh, is a member of uh, administrator and power lock users, right, whereas the test user is just a member of uh, users, right. Okay, so um, what we are going to do now is to take a look at the uh, privileges assignment on this system. Okay, so uh, to do that, uh, run this command called secpol, right, to see the security policy. Okay, so and uh, in this interface, you can see uh, under local policies, there is this uh, user rights assignments. Okay, this is where you can um, go through all the different privileges that um, are available on the system. And uh, for example, let's say uh, shutting down system, right? Uh, you can see the detailed explanation in this explain tab, right? It's going to tell you what it means. So for example, um, for this particular privilege is the privilege to shut down the system. This security setting determines which user are locked on to locally to the computer can shut down the operating system using the shutdown command, right? So um, plus the defaults on the workstation and servers. So what are the default settings, right? So um, right now you can see that uh, these uh, users and groups have the uh, privilege to shut down the uh, system. So this includes the user, user, okay, and the group administrators, right? So let's verify this. Who am I? Slash user. So I am currently the user called user, right? And uh, let's take a look at our privilege, my current privilege. And you can see, sure enough, SE shutdown privilege is there. I'm able to shut down the system. The status shows disabled because uh, I have the rights to shut down the system, but uh, I'm currently not using it. Right, so um, let's uh, take a look at uh, the test user. Test user, right, is a member of users, okay, the group users, and the name is called test user. And so when you look at the um, rights, okay, he is the test user is not uh, given the right to shut down the system. Okay, the, the test user user is not added. The group users is also not added. Uh, I mean, it's, it doesn't show up here. Huh? So uh, because it doesn't belong to the administrator's group, test user will not be able to shut down this machine. Okay, so let's verify. This is um, I am currently the user user, which is administrator. And if I go to start the power button, I can actually have the power to shut down, sleep, and restart. Right, so uh, I'm going to lock. Uh, I'm going to sign in as the test user. So to do that, go to this uh, user tab, and I'm going to lock the workstation for now. And I'm going to re-log in using test user. Right, so uh, instead of logging in as the user, I'm going to click test user, and going to supply the password. Okay, then I'll be logging into the system. Uh, my VM is actually uh, low on resources. I mean, it's quite mo running on modest resources. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video and come back when the system uh, is locked on. Oops. Oh, actually, it's quite fast. I thought it's going to take a while. Okay, but um, okay. So it's a good thing that it's so fast. I do not have to pause it. So this is the um, PowerShell again. So. On PowerShell again, uh, let's verify who am I slash user and the privilege. Right, so you can see that I'm now test user. I'm logging in as test user with this SID. And if you look at the privilege that is assigned, you can see that now for this user, there is no uh, shutdown privilege. Right, if you look at the output here, uh, I don't have the shutdown privilege that is assigned. And if I verify in using the uh, power button here, you can see there are currently no power options available. Right? So let's see how to change this. I'm going to log out of this test user. Click on test user and sign out. Right? Uh, let's go back to our administrative user, uh, the test.
test the actual this user here right and I'm gonna sign in this is the administrative user right and uh, I'm again going back to this interface here going to this privilege shutting down the system and I'm gonna add okay so now I'm gonna add test user to it yeah so now the test user is added to uh, this privilege I'm gonna apply I'm gonna click OK and let's verify this again let's log out oh, no, let's lock uh, the workstation and log in as test user okay so let's log in as um, test user Right, um, let's wait for it to uh, log into the desktop. Okay, and uh, again, let's uh, fire up a PowerShell button. Uh, PowerShell console. Okay, and uh, let's verify who am I slash user. I am logged in as the test user, okay, and uh, who am I? Let's look at the privilege next. And now you see, um, I now have the SE shutdown privilege, which means that I can now, uh, this user is actually able to shut down the workstation, uh, shut down the machine. And let's verify here. And now you see the options to shut down the machine. Right, so um, this demonstrates how to assign uh, and uh, modify privileges such as uh, shutting down the machine on Windows.